so welcome to the second video of camp so in this video i will explain the adaptive clearing strategy to be adaptive clearing strategy so please watch my first video that is facing then once you complete the facing you have to watch this video this is the adaptive clearing strategy using adaptive clearing strategy so i will select the 2d adaptive clearing strategy and then i will select the tool i will select the tool then i will click this plus button and then i will select i will select this flat and mill option flat and mill then go to the cutter now the diameter diameter of this cutter is 10 mm i will change it into 8 and then the flute length now the flute length is 20 mm i will change this to 22 mm then i will change the cutting data that is the spindle speed default value is 5000 i will change this into 3000 rpm and the feed rate cutting feed rate to 800 mm per minute i have changed the spindle speed and the cutting feed rate then i will click the accept button and then i will select now you can see in the tools area you can see hash 1 that is tool number 1 5 8 5 8 means diameter diameter 8 8 mm flat 8 mm flat means 8 mm diameter flat end and here you can see the spindle speed is 3000 rpm and the feed rate cutting feed rate is 800 mm per minute then select the geometry so here i have to machine this 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 much portion this outside portion so i will select the bottom edge now you can see this this blue area so we have to remove material from this blue area okay and this is the boundary this is the this is the boundary so outside this boundary everything will be machined so here in this we can see a large amount of material is we, we have to remove large amount of material so that's why we are using this strategy adaptive clearing strategy large amount of material we have to remove large amount of material so so the adaptive clearing strategy so i have selected this boundary this is the geometry and then i will go to the height step here i will i will adjust the bottom height okay so i will change this bottom height to i will change the bottom height to change this option to model bottom so now you can see this is the this is the bottom height and i will change this offset distance to minus 1 m so here we can see this distance is 1 m okay so this distance is 1 m so i have changed the bottom height to minus 1 mm okay then i will click uh, all other values default values now change okay then i will select okay
Okay. So now you can see, now we can see the tool path is generated. This, so I will right click here and uh, click this show tool path data. So this is the tool path data. Okay. So these are the various types of linear, linear, then circular, circular, then linear. Okay. So these are the, this blue line represents the cutting operation. Okay. So everything, every, every, every tool path data will be displayed here. Okay. And here we can see what is the feed rate. So I have given the feed rate as 800 millimeter per minute and the RPM that is 3000 RPM. So feed rate is 800 millimeter per minute and the RPM, spindle speed RPM is 3000 RPM that is given. Okay, so this is the tool path data. Then I will, I will write uh, click actions, then I will simulate. Okay, so I will click this play button. So this is the moment. Again, go back to here and then cut here, then go back, cut here, again go back, cut here, again go back, cut here, and then go to here. Then go to here. Okay, so that is complete. Then go to actions, then we have to generate the machine codes, okay, such that you can, you can uh, use that code for, for removing the material from the stock. So I will click the post process, then I will change to the, the controller Sokuma, then I will click the post button, then I will click yes. So NC code is generated. So here we can see this is the code. <laughs> so here we can see 2D adaptive. Okay, so 2D adaptive and uh, we can see the number of lines. So here the number of lines as N1533, okay, 1533. So this is the code. So you have to do this. Okay, you have to do this and then generate the NC code for this adaptive gearing strategy. Okay, thank you.